So as you would have seen, I have uh, had this new cruiser for a while now. Um, I should have had a video of me building it, which I can't find the footage anywhere, but I'm still trying to find it to put a video together. But in the meantime, we're gonna have the bike check. Um, there was a video of me getting the frame, and since then you haven't seen any of it, except for us riding it, well, me riding it in Bristol, and a few other times. So uh, yeah, let's get right into the bike check. So if we start from the top, we've got um, ODI Rufian grips. I don't really know how you pronounce them, Rufian, I'm guessing. That's the only way you pronounce them. Um, one, the bolts are a bit messed up. I mean, the end caps for them are actually off old grips because these new ones didn't fit on. And I don't think they were black. I'm not really sure what happened, to be fair. Um, and then we've got, obviously, we've got a Shimano DXR uh, V-brake lever. Well, just their normal brake lever on the bars there. On the left-hand side, which is the correct side, and then they're, they're on the Gusset FMXR bars, which I think they're 6.5 6 inch rise, which um, I think they're one of the tallest cruiser bars you can get, because I'm, you know, quite tall. Uh, and then they are on the profile racing stem, obviously. I've got that on my other race bike as well. Um, that's a 53mm. Um, I'm, I'm literally, you don't ask me about like specs or anything. 53mm has worked for me so far, so that's how they are. And then, uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's all we got. So then we've got under them, we've got two answer headset spaces, which I think they look quite good on here. We've gone for like, obviously we've gone for like a gray and black theme and then the chain's a different color, but we'll get to that. But then before we get to the forks, there's an FSA Orbit. I believe it's an FSA Orbit. I, 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 I can't remember, but it's an FSA um, integrated headset, one, one and one eighth. They are on, albeit dusty right now, Stay Strong Race Forks. I, I think that's what they're called. I don't think they, I think they might be division forks, maybe. I'm not really sure. But they've got like the nice stay strong in the inside of the forks and then uh, the, the graphics on the outside. I haven't actually had to put a transponder on this yet, so they haven't been like, you know, tarnished with a, uh, with a nice red transponder on the side. If we move on to the wheels next, I guess it's the next step. Uh, we've got the stay strong evolution. Yep, thanks for pointing that out, Duncan. And uh, yeah, I've got the, the 24 inch, obviously, because Cruiser and they work quite well. I couldn't find, to build up race wheels is very expensive these days. It's like 300 pound a hub, and that's just one. So uh, yeah, I went for just like the stock, you know, they come, as, they come well, they come good, so they're on there. Um, and then moving on to, we'll, go, we'll do the frame next, I guess. So we've got a Yes Type X, um, Yes BMX Type X cruiser frame, which has been, hydro dipped or sprayed before I got it because it's actually pre-owned but because it's been like sprayed or I, th I think they said sprayed um, in this like nice charcoal grey then uh, it's actually not many scratches are showing up which is quite good it's got a few marks on the de decals but it's very nice to get our hands on this so then moving down we got the yes it came with a yes uh, seat clamp I wouldn't have bought one of those just because they're it's just a seat clamp, I wouldn't have paid that much for one. But it's already on there, so we'll keep it on there. Now in comparison to my uh, normal race bike, I've got the Tangent, the cloth finish, instead of like the, I don't even know what you call it, uh, like the other finish basically, so this one gets dirtier. But uh, th that's fine, that's fine. Uh, and then seat post, I literally, oh it's a Stay Strong seat post, which has been nicely cut down, uh, nice and straight there, um, just like my other frame. Because when I cut it, well, when I cut anything really, just doesn't, doesn't go well. So then we'll pick up the few little bits that are on it. And um, we've got obviously the DXR V brake uh, that complements, that goes with the uh, lever. And I've always run them, they're quite well nice. I've got a spare pair of box uh, pads that I wanna, I was gonna put on it, but obviously they came with pads. So I've just got a spare pair now. Probably, they'll probably end up on my other bike because I don't ride this enough, which I was supposed to race it, but we'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> Yeah, so on the back, obviously, we've got the same wheel. I think it's an 18 tooth driver uh, that's cassette on the back. And then you've got the Yes chain tensions on the back, which I've always thought they look very ugly for like the, how nice Yes look. The way they are, they're like very bulky, I'd say. But, you know, they work. So uh, they're on there. They came with the frame. So that's good because I would have been thrown on some random chain tensions and they would have messed up the frame. But that, that's, that's much better. Like I did, because I did that on my, when I had a Type X in that, that purpley one, um, I had other chain tensions, it just like, it just ate away at the back of the paint, but we'll, go, we'll leave it with it now. So then if I turn the bike around, oh, it went quite well. Uh, you've got the cranks, which are off a Harrow. Uh, obviously, most of this bike was supposed to be pre-owned, but it ended up being quite mostly new. The wheels are new, the forks are new, the stem is new, the, forks are off my, the bars are off my other cruiser. 
yeah, so then the cranks are, yeah, off a Harrow Complete, so they're just straight off, I think. Well, they've got marks, so probably not. But, um, yeah, that sounds great. Um, but, yeah, they work well. The 175 mil, uh, I literally, I don't ride it enough to notice them because buying another set of box cranks would have, like, put, put me in debt. So, um, that they're there, and it, I don't ride this enough. I've ridden it maybe five, six times, and obviously it's not, you know, it's, it just wasn't worth it. So um, they are on a Shimano 42 tooth, uh, is it a 44? Yeah, 42 tooth uh, chain ring, which has been sprayed, I sprayed black before it went on. Uh, not right before, you know, I let it dry. Um, and yeah, that's, that's working well. I didn't really know what the gearing is. I think, the, so the gearing's a 4218, which I literally, it's just like the stem length. I haven't got a clue about gearing. I know the, the closer the sizes are, the harder it, the easier it is. So if you've got like a 10 on the back and then a 50 on the front, that's very difficult because you're spinning more, I think, who knows. But um, they are held together with obviously the box chain ring bolts, which I've, I've never run anything else, which they always work. I've never seen them crack, but someone else, one of you guys might have seen them crack. Uh, but on my bikes, they've never cracked. Um, I've had them come loose sometimes, which, which is like when you're riding around and you, you're like, what is that noise? And then you find out it's, it's a, it's a chain ring bolt, but I have seen them uh, like cable tied on. But if it did, if you, your chain ring cracked or something like that, that wouldn't really do much. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought. So um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> and then the bottom bracket is a Shimano, I think, just the uh, mountain bike one, just because it's it's just cheap. And if you go on chain reaction cycles, that that's literally just grab it and it goes on easy. So. Um, Whereas if you buy that box uh, cranks that were on my race bike, they come with a bottom bracket. So I'd expect them to at that price. So uh, yeah. So I think that is it for the uh, frame. Some special mentions are the uh, build up of Source BMX uh, stickers to cover up. So where the uh, brake cable rubs to cover that up. I've got that on the same, yeah, both bikes. The same sticker cut up twice just stuck on there so it rubs on that instead of the frame because it, it, there's nothing worse than it rubbing off the paint and uh, that's very annoying. But um, yeah, I've got some silver alloy uh, chain dust caps. I've got some silver dust caps on there which are in a pack from eBay, I think, or Amazon because um, I've got the black ones on my normal bike so that's just something. Um, and I think that's it. It's, it's a very nice bike. Oh, I forgot about the chain. So the chain is a gusset, um, literally couldn't tell you, but I think, I know it's the gusset one, I, I think it's gusset, I'm pretty sure it's gusset, and uh, it's the oil slick version, because, yeah, because it added so much, it adds so much colour to the, the bike, as you can see it's quite dark, so when I had that on there, I had the idea just to go, oh, I'll just put a bit of colour, where, where shall I put it, put it on the chain ring, that's too much, but um, on the chain, it's just a little thing that if you, if you, know, if you notice it, it's quite nice, so, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it, I think. That is it this time. I do hope to find the footage of me building it because there was, it's just the little things that happen, which is about, like, between the Canadian, American and the UK parts all lining up, which they never seem to do. And it's bits like I had to cut down the seat post, otherwise the seat was up here. But in hindsight, after you saw the crash at Bournemouth, probably could have left, should have left the seat up here because of the, the problem here, the uh, minimal gappage. But, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, and uh, don't forget to subscribe because then you'll see when I do find the footage of me building it. And if you like this video, click the like button and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Can't reach the camera. Ah, uh, the roof don't drop, so we poking out of the sunroof. No AC, no MP3s, only CDs. Tell me what you want to do. If I don't make it, please don't fake it. You got me if I got you. I got this spot too that I go to when the sun is up. The grass is green, there ain't no TV screen, only blue skies. Please use your imagination. Tell me what you dream. And I picture you and I on the scene. But are you snapping? Cause I ain't getting cream.